My name is Dr. Joshua Taylor. I'm a general surgeon. I'd like to thank you for coming to see me today in consultation. I'd like to use this time using this video to explain the reason you're here to see me and answer some questions so that when you and I sit down, we can have a more in-depth conversation about what it is that is exactly going on with you or any questions or concerns that you might have. You're here to see me because your doctor thinks that you might have some gallbladder problems. So first, let's talk about what the gallbladder is and what it does. The gallbladder is primarily a storage organ. It is over on your right side. It's located just underneath the liver. It stores a substance called bile. Your liver produces the bile, and when you're not eating, it stores it in the gallbladder. When you eat, your brain sends a stimulus to your gallbladder to squeeze and empty that bile into your intestines. The gallbladder can malfunction for several reasons. The most common reason is that you might have stones in your gallbladder. Those stones can create a blockage and not allow the gallbladder to empty. And that blockage can end up causing you to experience pain. You can also experience nausea, sometimes vomiting, and sometimes diarrhea associated with this. These gallbladder attacks can occur with eating. They also sometimes occur at night. And over time, they become more frequent and oftentimes more painful. The other reason that you can develop problems with your gallbladder are known as functional disorders of the gallbladder. That's where your gallbladder potentially does not empty or squeeze the way that it should, or sometimes it squeezes too vigorously. Both of these problems can end up causing you pain, nausea, and sometimes vomiting as well. So when you have these gallbladder problems, sometimes you need surgery. The surgery for gallbladder problems is primarily to remove the gallbladder. Now lots of folks ask, well if I have stones, why not just take out the stones and keep my gallbladder? And we've tried to do that, but unfortunately those stones can come back and you can have those problems over again. And so what we have found is, is that you can live without your gallbladder and live relatively normally. So the most effective treatment for gallbladder surgery is just to remove the gallbladder. After surgery, your body will begin to compensate and adjust to having your gallbladder removed. In general, the way that we perform gallbladder surgery now is minimally invasively. That's either laparoscopic, or sometimes referred to as laser surgery, or robotic. Oftentimes that's usually with four small incisions that are about a half inch at the largest. Uh, the surgery is usually outpatient surgery. You come into surgery uh, the day of and you go home the same day. Uh, most folks are out of work for approximately one week after the surgery and that's primarily due to the expected pain that you will have from the incisions that we make. In general, most folks after that first week have already stopped taking the prescription pain medicine, but they may be taking some over-the-counter pain medications such as Tylenol or ibuprofen. Overall, gallbladder surgery is very safe and effective. Anytime we do a surgical procedure, we do think about risk associated with it. In general, the risks that we think about for gallbladder surgery are, number one, infection. We have to make a cut on your belly to access and perform the surgery. So there's a risk that you may develop an infection where your body is healing. The second risk is bleeding. The gallbladder does have a blood vessel that supplies blood to it, and we have to make sure that we tie that off during the surgery. The other risk associated with gallbladder surgery are where the gallbladder is attached to the bile ducts in the liver. We have to be very careful not to damage that because that will be what your body depends on after the surgery. And then we will be inside your belly doing the surgery, and so we have to be very careful not to damage any of the other major organs inside. Other risks that may be specific to you may be associated with heart problems, lung problems, or bleeding risks, which we will talk about in more depth. 
I'll be in momentarily to talk with you and be more specific about what it is that's going on with you and how I think surgery might help. If you have any questions, feel free to write them down. You can re-watch this video and you and I will go through them when we meet.